morning guys. So my mornings look a little bit different these days because I have started to train for my next marathon. So instead of having water and coffee first thing in the morning, I just have water. And on this particular day, I was going out for a five mile run. So it wasn't long enough for me to want to have like a full breakfast before I went out, but I did want something in my stomach. So I had a little bit of dried fruit. I had some dried pineapple slices as well as a small handful of almonds. And if it was a even shorter run, like three miles, I would probably just have a few bites of dried fruit and just get out the door. But I wanted a little something extra in my stomach. So I went ahead and had some almonds and some dried fruit. And then I also made sure to drink this whole water bottle, which is 20 ounces of water. I'll have at least that amount of water before I go out for a run, especially because it's summer and it's hot and I get really sweaty, even if it's just a short run. So I went ahead and had that. And then it was time to head out for my run. And then after my run, I took a few minutes to stretch, but honestly, Rosie was not having it. I was on the floor, so she therefore just wanted to play and to snuggle and to hang out. So I did get some stretching in, but we really just honestly just hung out. But also, if you see that mess in the back, don't mind it. I'm currently redoing our coffee table, so our living room is just kind of a mess. But after me and Rosie <laughs> hung out for a little while and I got some stretching in, it was the best part of the day, which is coffee and breakfast time. So I went ahead and just made myself a cup of coffee. If you guys have been watching my videos, you know that recently I have been experimenting with adding like ghee or coconut oil to my coffee, which I have been loving. But on this particular day, I was just in a rush and wanted something quick. So I just added some organic half and half. And then I moved on to make my breakfast, which I have been getting back into oats recently. Um, whenever I'm training or running a lot, uh, I just crave carbs a lot more. So I end up just eating a lot more carb sources. So I topped it with some of these roasted uh, cocoa nibs for a little crunch and chocolatey flavor. I also added some almond butter, some raisins and a splash of milk. And this breakfast is a good mix of carbs, fat and protein. Plus it has a little bit of antioxidant boost from the cocoa nibs. So a little while later, it was time for a snack because I was hungry again. So I made a smoothie with some mixed berries, some banana and fresh spinach. And then I also added in a little bit of maca powder. I have been experimenting with this recently because it apparently can help to balance out your hormones. That's one of the claims of it. So I figured I would give it a whirl and I have been liking it so far. So I'll let you guys know if you know I really see any difference from consuming this on a regular basis. But I have been adding that to smoothies or to oatmeal or something like that. So I will just go ahead and blend up my smoothie. This is full of antioxidants and vitamins and minerals and it's just so refreshing and so good. And then a little while later, I decided to throw together some lunch. I have been obsessed with roasted carrots recently. It's seriously just like my obsession. They're so good. I added a little bit of melted coconut oil and just kind of coated those in the coconut oil. I used coconut oil because it has a much higher smoke point. So when you're roasting at like high temperatures around 400 degrees, it's uh, much less likely to oxidize and therefore um, be kind of harmful actually when you consume it. And then I added just a little bit of salt and pepper. Also, I know this is like the smallest serving of carrots in the world. This was just, was just all I had left in our fridge. I was just kind of cleaning out the fridge on this day. So it was kind of a random lunch. I did end up cooking um, an egg to go along with my lunch. And then I went ahead and just put that egg on top of a little bed of spinach and then added my roasted carrots. And then I also made some avocado toast, which was so good. So this lunch again has lots of protein and fat and healthy carbs and it's so, so yummy. And then shocker, a few hours later, I was hungry again. So I decided to make a little yogurt bowl. I used some of this Maple Hill yogurt, which I have been trying recently and really liking. And then I added a little bit of this organic, like raspberry jam on top, as well as some almond butter. So it was kind of like a almond butter and jelly type yogurt, which might sound gross, but it actually was really good. And then I just crumbled up an Aussie bite and sprinkled that on top. I buy these from Costco. They're kind of like little like sweetened oat flax biscuit type things, and they're really good. And again, this has got a good mix of carbs, fat, and protein, so it's very filling and satisfying. 
And then once evening rolled around, it was time to get dinner together. So I decided to make one of my go-to favorite, like really easy dinners, which is just some salmon, some homemade sweet potato fries that are baked, and then also some roasted asparagus. This is one of my favorite meals that's so easy because all you have to do is just like prep the veggies and throw everything in the oven and that's it. So for the sweet potato fries, I just cut them up into like fry shapes and then I top them off with a little bit of olive oil as well as the asparagus. I will um, put some olive oil on those as well. And then I just put salt and pepper on everything and then you just roast them in the oven. Since I was also going to be baking salmon in the oven, I set the oven for 375, which is what the fish required to cook. Um, but if I was just roasting these on their own, I would probably go like 400 or maybe even a little higher. But since I wanted to um, cook the fish as well at the same time, just to make my life easier, I decided to roast everything at 375 and I roasted everything for about 40, 45 minutes. And then I also added some rosemary to the sweet potatoes because it is such a delicious combo. And and I recently just planted some herbs in my backyard. So now I have all these fresh tasty herbs at my fingertips. So I actually have been using them so much because I'll be honest, I hate buying them in the store. I don't know why, I just feel like it's expensive and it's just never something I really want to buy. But now that I have them in my backyard, I've been using them all the time and it really does make a huge difference. And then I will just make sure that everything is nice and coated in the oil and spices. And then I will throw everything in the oven for about 40 to 45 minutes. And then when there is 30 minutes remaining on the uh, oven timer, I will go ahead and throw the salmon in. This is the one that I really like to use. It's wild caught. I get it from Costco and it's really good. You can thaw it or sometimes I'm lazy and I will literally just throw them in, the fillets in frozen and they turn out pretty good. So that is what we had for dinner. It is full of protein and healthy fats and lots and lots of fiber as well as tons of vitamins and minerals. So this really is a very healthy meal and it is so easy to put together, which is definitely the best part. And then a little while later, I wanted just a little something. So I decided to have some of this peanut butter puffins cereal. Matt loves this, so that's why we always pretty much have it in the house. So I decided to have a little bit of that along with some milk. Like I said, when I am running a lot, I really just crave a lot more carbs, especially at night. So that is why I decided to have this, just to kind of top off the day and make me nice and full and sleepy before going to bed. But that is all I have for this video. Rosie and I wanted to say thank you so much for watching. Make sure to subscribe if you like my videos and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.